Hi everyone, today is move-in day number one. It is January 15th and it's 20 degrees outside. So <laughs> we picked the perfect day to move and thankfully the wind has finally died down because it was feeling more like 19, 15 degrees. Not that much of a difference, but still. So, <laughs> long story short, right now I am the only one moving things at the moment because Jamie is still at work. It's like four in the afternoon right now. So in about an hour, Jamie will get off as well. And then some of his family members are gonna come over and help us move some stuff over. We weren't necessarily planning to have any help, but it will be nice just to have two cars. Um, but we're not in a rush to get anything to our next place just since we have until the end of January to move back and forth anyway. So the main goal with moving today is to just get whatever we need to spend the night in the house and then of course any additional boxes we can pack we might as well get while we can. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this huge car load of stuff that I loaded all by myself girl boss anyway I'm gonna take it to the new place and then I will go ahead and show you guys an empty house tour before it's complete chaos there so yeah stay tuned and here we are so I'm about to show you the house before it's all cluttered but even though I said it was an empty house tour it's not totally um, because this house is furnished. None of our things are in here yet, but that's why you'll see a bunch of decor and furniture already in here. Just wanted to give a heads up. But yeah, I'm super excited, and let me just take you through our new place. Here's the entrance at the front door, and there's already some stuff from the owner in there now, but this is like the coat closet and it's much more open than our last place, which I love. And probably my favorite part of the house is the kitchen. It is so much more spacious than the one we currently have. It actually has a pantry. And believe it or not, folks, we have a dishwasher now. Hooray! Get excited. Then there's the living room over here, which I already know one thing we wanna do is replace that TV because we have a much larger one in, in our basement right now. And then we come into the hallway. This house is three bed, two bath. So this is the guest room we're actually going to keep as is. So this will remain a guest room for our friends and family when they stay. And then this is the guest bathroom, which what's hilarious about this to me is this is already like four times the size of the bathroom Jamie and I have been working out of. So. And this is small compared to our master bathroom. So we're very excited to have this. Here is the second guest room, which we are actually going to make our office space slash craft space. Um, pretty much any little hobby we do, we wanna put in here. This is also where I hope to be recording some more music. And then here is our bedroom, which is another favorite part of mine of this house. We have a king bed, which will be great. So much natural light. We have our very first master bathroom, double vanity, a huge tub, which man oh man am I excited for that because I haven't taken a bath in our last place. It was just too tiny. And our shower. Yeah, that's the entirety of our house. Perfectly sizable for Jamie and I. And I'm gonna go ahead back to the car and start unloading some of these boxes. next day so I'm picking the vlog back up and we had a very eventful night of bringing things in from the car and just trying to get set for the night since we did end up spending the night last night 
So that was successful. Jamie's family came over and got us Chinese food, which was super nice. And we just enjoyed our first night in our new home. So we're already loving it so much. The shower is incredible. <laughs> we love our new bed and having a dishwasher. There's just so many plus sides to moving now. So I wanted to show you our new bedspread that we've been anxiously, or maybe not Jamie, but I have been anxiously awaiting putting on because we got our sheets, our comforter, everything you see except the throw pillows is ours and we got it on our registry for a king size bed, but we haven't had a king size bed until today. Uh, it's so big. It's beautiful. I s am so obsessed with all the natural lighting here. We don't have any food here yet. That's something we should have brought over last night and didn't get around to doing. So I'm actually going to go run to Wawa real quick and grab myself and Jamie some breakfast sandwiches or something because we need to eat. He's at work, so I'll take them to him. And then before I proceed with any more moving, I do want to go to the gym and get my workout in. So I'll bring you guys along for that and then we'll get right back into moving. Hey there. Hi. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey, can I snag one of these? Yes, you can. Thank you. See ya. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. All right, I'm back from all of my adventures and I'm finally going to start unpacking some of these boxes and stocking up our dressers and filling the closet up. <laughs> I'm sorry for the spottiness of these clips. I know they're kind of all over the place, but so are our brains right now as we just, you know, get everything together and move from one house to the next. We have gotten a lot done, so I want to share that with you all. And I also want to share some things we just went ahead and got from Marshalls. Okay, so there have just been a couple things, like organizational things, that we needed for our new house. So we got some of those, and then naturally, anytime I go to Marshalls, there's always the cutest clothes. So I only got a couple of things, but I'll show you those as well. I got three of these white little storage bins. Two of them I've already filled up, so I'll just find something else for this, but you can never have enough organization. Something else we really needed um, to hold our loofahs and such in the shower is this caddy. So that will go in the master bathroom. One of the main things I really wanted to get on this trip to Marshalls were clear organizational bins for under the sink because we have a double vanity in the master bathroom, but there's no drawers or like storage in there. So everything's just kind of out flat in the cabinets. So this will help keep things organized. I got that size and then I also got um, a slightly smaller size. And then this is actually for something that's not here yet but we have a storage unit that we've been renting out since before we were married so one of the things I do want to try and get in this place is a beautiful wooden hutch that we have and I want to have like any of our nicer plateware and um, glassware on display there the wood is super nice on it and well restored but it is older so the knobs look kind of old-fashioned to me so I'm actually gonna, one of these days, replace them with these cuter ones. And I feel like they still look nice and classic, but a little more modern, so hopefully that will make them, uh, make the hutch look less dated on the whole. And then over here, I've got this huge wicker basket, because you can never have enough of those. But my intention with this is just to put any of our, like, throw blankets in there so that we can have them in our room. Another thing I got, I actually got this at Staples because it's right by the Marshalls where we live, but I've really been wanting to and my mental health has been needing me to journal lately, so I finally picked one up and I just love like how simplistic and classic this looks, but it's lined um, and very thick, so it should last me a good bit of time. I got more of my favorite pens. Jamie and I love these, they're the Sharpie gel pens. And then I actually got some sticky notes and like the sticky note flags 
because last year I was doing a Bible in the year, Bible in a year, like Bible study podcast that's hosted by Father Mike Schmitz. Um, if you're Catholic, I'm sure you've heard of him, but I, I'll link that below if you want to give it a listen. It's really great and basically from January 1st to the end of each year he goes through and by the end of the year you've read the entire Bible with the way he um, organizes that. I enjoy listening to that and I want to both journal just personal things in my life but then also use um, the sticky notes and the journal itself to Bible study. And then the clothes I got are honestly very springy but I'm so ready for the cold weather to be done so maybe that's why. But yeah, I love like this shade of green, especially in the springtime. My style, some might call it grannyish, but truthfully, I love like anything retro, anything 60s and 70s. That's the music I listen to. That's kind of why I want to get those like 70s curtain bangs. I feel like that's just very much so my aura. I feel like this is kind of fitting with that, especially with like the gold buttons. And then this is also probably grannyish, but I feel like if it was styled with the right things, I can make it look really cute. So it's just this little like short jacket, but I liked that. I love the patchwork like quilted look. And then the last thing looks very similar to the first thing I showed, but I love this color as well for spring. Um, so it comes with this like top underneath and then this cardigan for over top. It was a very successful trip and we still have a lot that we'll need to order on Amazon. I know I want to get like a shoe rack for the coat closet um, and just more practical things like that. So we're just, you know, as I get more things in the mail for this new house, I'll share them with you all. I'll go ahead and show you guys the progress we've made otherwise, and then I'm probably gonna end this vlog and pick up with organization. So not much has changed in the bedroom since I last showed it, but we're keeping this bin over here of things we wanna give away. Oh, but something that has changed is we finally filled this closet. So there's our closet. Something else I wanna order from Amazon is like those clear plastic dresser drawers so that we can put like all these piles I have on the floor right now. Those are the things that are going to go in those. Um, but just like t-shirts and workout clothing that doesn't need to be hung up but it doesn't really fit in the dresser with our other things being in there. Obviously it looks like a tornado kind of swept through here but we're still working on that and I think this is where I want to put the hutch just for reference. Another productive thing we've done is stocked the fridge back up. I guess stock might not be the right term because it's still kind of empty, but we brought anything we had in the fridge back at our old house here. And same for the freezer. I also went ahead and put all of our like spices, our vitamins, and then that's kind of like the baking stuff up there. So I'm pretty proud of the organization so far. Hopefully it stays nice and clean. I also stocked, once again, that's a loose term, but I put all of the things from our old house in the pantry, which I love the idea of having a pantry. All right, so that is it for today's vlog. We're just gonna enjoy some time together and keep going with this whole moving thing. What's your favorite part about this new place, Ben? Uh, well, aside from the fact that it is twice the size, our master bathroom, because in our old house, obviously we only had the one full, well, only one full bath and period. Mm -hmm. um, but now our master bath is probably, I don't know, three or four times the size of, of the old one. one. So that is something. We have a double vanity, which has been, even only in the two nights we've been here, a game changer. The other it makes funny getting thing ready so much easier. That we've already done, I feel like it's kind of silly, but we've already taken baths <laughs> in that bathtub. Yes. Even though we've only been here, this is our third night, but it was just irresistible, so. Yeah. Definitely an upgrade. Very excited. We will be sharing much more of, much more of the move with you guys. So yeah, I'm very excited to share this all with you. I hope you're having a great week, and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys. <laughs>